You are now listening to the Gospel of Alex. Alex, drop those scriptures. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. <laughs> I had to make a video on this brokey chin trend because. It's just hilarious to me how modern women really have no guidance. This is why I tell you guys not to date women who don't have fathers. Because 9 out of 10 times, if a woman doesn't have a father in her life or a male influence in her life, she's going to be an idiot 9 out of 10 times. Because you have to be an idiot with no guidance to ever do this brokey challenge. Right? I want you to understand something. Alright? Why would you go to your job? And make a video making fun of broke people. And 90% of the women who made these videos are broke. That's the ironicness of it, right? I, I don't even want to say broke because they have a job. We're going to say they're at the poverty line. They're below middle class, right? That's the vast majority of the women who made these videos. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. You're not going to see doctors making these videos. You're not going to see lawyers making these videos. <laughs> You're not going to see... You know, actuaries making these videos. Anyone who has a substantial job that they actually care about that really pays them six-figure income or more. Now, you might see a few nurses making these videos, cause, but we all know nurses are 304, so they don't really count. But you're not going to see doctors making these videos, right? Anyone who has a real career, something to lose, she's not going to make these videos. So the vast majority of women making these videos are broke or they're below middle class, right? So, first of all, the song's already making fun of you. Let's just start there. The song's making fun of you. If you listen to the lyrics of Brokey, it is not talking about men. Brokey is about women. It's about broke women, low-class women who do not add up to mulatto. As a matter of fact, the only time men are even mentioned in the song is when she's talking about how your chick ain't me. Your chick don't add up to me. Your chick is beneath my class. Now, if you follow this channel, I talk all the time about elite women. So if you're following this channel, your woman's not below Lotto's class. Because you got a middle class, upper middle class, or a rich woman. But I digress. That's what the song is about. So I need you guys to understand. She made a song making fun of y'all for being broke. Literally, the chorus even says, you got to wait till your birthday to go on vacation. We all know this is a direct shot at women because we all see women on Instagram. We all see women on Twitter, on TikToks, on Facebooks who it's their birthday and they go on vacation. Usually the vacation is not even that grand. They go to Miami nine out of ten times or they go to Atlanta. You know what I mean? If she want to be a little fancy, she might go to the Dominicano or Republicano or she might go to Jamaica, Jamaica and have some homeless men rub on her booty. And pipe her down on the boat flow, on the banana boat flow. But I digress. Either way, she's taking direct shots at women. I'm going to explain to you why Mulatto's taking shots at women in a second. But we're not there yet. And so your response to this is to go out and make a video at your job when you're already broke. <laughs> that they risk getting fired for attention? Now here's the thing. Someone like me was wondering, well, why would women even make this video and risk getting fired for attention. And this was the answer that a woman gave us to that question. <laughs> Y'all see that? Shorty legitimately said, oh, they're doing it at work because Lotto told them to. Do you realize how crazy I'm going to make a video at work and risk getting fired because Lotto told me to is. This is what I'm talking about with y'all, with these fatherless women. Now, she went on to say that, well, Lotto is offering $10,000, right, to the woman who makes the best video. As if that makes it better. You have women in the comments saying, like the girl who got fired from the Waffle House. You have women in the comments saying, oh, well, she got fired from Waffle House, but it's worth it for a $10,000 opportunity because she was never going to get that at Waffle House. Women with no guidance. Women with no fathers in their lives. Women with no men in their lives. Because women don't understand money. Not all, but most. I tell you guys this all the time. Because why would you think $10,000 is more than you're going to make at Waffle House? Or any job for that matter. Because it's not. First of all, if you win this contest. I already said, well, I was going to put you in a video and she's going to give you $10,000. First of all, if you win this contest and Lotto gives you $10,000, anything over $600 is no longer considered a gift. Therefore, it's federally taxable, right? 
They can tax the money. Now, if your mom gives you $1,000, your dad gives you $2,000, you'll be okay. But you're not going to get $10,000 from anyone in the government. Don't investigate that, especially if you get it at one time. So this is what's going to happen. She's going to give you $10,000. You better report it as, as income where you're in trouble. But the government's going to take 40% of that. You're going to get like $6,000. Now, you're trying to tell me that you're not going to make more than $6,000 at Waffle House in the entire year? Even if you work part-time, you would make more than $6,000. So they hear women saying, well, she's offering $10,000, and Lionel said to do it. As if that justifies the stupidity of this, it's crazy. But again, this is what happens when women have no guidance, and they have no men in their life. They do stuff like this, <laughs> because they don't have anyone to tell them better. I told you guys before, when I made the video about an alpha woman, there's no such thing as an alpha woman. Women have a yearning to be led. Women are designed to be followers. Not all, but most. 90% of them. This is why women worship celebrities so hard. Like, you see an attractive man, and he goes on tour, and women are willing to throw their whole life away for the man. Hell, I was watching a football game yesterday, and a woman was at a football game with a sign that said that the quarterback of the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen, she got a sign that says, Oh, Josh Allen, I love you. I just got married, but I'll leave my husband for you. Men don't do stuff like this. Men don't go to concerts. Women go to concerts, throw their panties on the stage, throw their ball on the stage. Go on and grind on the celebrity. Don't know this man from dirt. He probably was throwing ditty parties. You know what I'm saying? He's probably not even straight. But they will go run up there, give them 7-Eleven Slurpees, shake their behind on them, embarrass their boyfriends, leave their whole families, throw their whole families away, just to be with this dude who has clout. Just to be with this dude who gets attention. Just to get a hint of that attention for themselves. Why are you saying all that, Alex? What does that have to do with male leadership? Simple. If a woman does not have, and this is a gym, if a woman does not have a father or a husband or a boyfriend or some type of male leadership in her life, she's still going to follow something. And what she follows is going to be society, which means she's going to follow trends. She's going to follow celebrities. She's going to be a celebrity worshiper because there's no one to tell her that this is stupid. If a guy goes to a concert, I don't give a damn how fine a woman is. Dudes don't go to an Ice Spice concert and throw their boxers on the stage. They don't. Dudes don't go to a mulatto concert and throw their shirt on the stage. They don't. But women do this because they worship celebrities, because they have to follow something, and because they love attention. So if there's no man to bring logic to that, this is what you get. Now, I said earlier, and I also told you guys I was going to explain it. Why did mulatto want to call women broke? Well, simple. Because mulatto's album's not selling, and she's pissed. You guys have to understand, mulatto don't got money like that either. She really does not. All right, most of Mulatto stuff, y'all don't understand rich, poor. I understand rich, poor, because I work as a financial consultant. I deal with rich, poor people all the time. I deal with people who are in $60,000 of credit card debt and more all the time, right? I also deal with people who have a mortgage. that They get paid, they make six figures, but by the time they pay for their mortgage, by the time they pay for their $100,000 Mercedes Benz or their Porsche or whatever the case may be, and then their five kids and their wife who doesn't work and all this other stuff, they don't got no money left over, right? Because I told you guys before, when you're rich, you got to live like the rich. You can't be middle class and live with poor people. They're going to rob you. They're going to kill you. So you got to go live a middle class life. And that's going to make you live paycheck to paycheck, just like the people who live in the lower middle class do. I mean, not the lower middle class, but the poverty line, they live paycheck to paycheck. And if you become rich, guess what? Now you have to live with the rich people. You can't live in the middle class no more. So now you have to go and buy mansions and go in the Hollywood Hills. So guess what? These are million dollar something homes. So once again, you're living paycheck to paycheck. So Lalo is not rich. Don't let her fool you. What happens with most people in the music industry, they get an advance. Lalo was given an advance. When Lalo got that advance, she built her aesthetic. When you guys see rappers and they come out and they got chains and they have grills and they have these Lamborghinis and all this stuff, this is stuff they use their advance to buy to build their aesthetic to get you guys to start riding a meat or riding in clip curtains, in the case of Mulatto. So the first thing she did, she got her advance, she went on and got BBL. She tried to tell everybody, oh, I feel like my fans made me feel like I needed to get a BBL. Your fans didn't make you feel like you needed to get a BBL. First of all, before you got the BBL, you didn't have any fans. <laughs> now, I want to say this, Mulatto can actually rap. She was on the rap game. She can actually spit. But here's the problem. No one wants to hear a woman who actually raps. Women don't want to hear women who actually rap, bar for bar rap. If you're socially consciously rapping, right, and you got a good flow and some good music to it, like a Lauryn Hill or something, then yeah, you can get away with it. But most of the time, if you don't, 
right? You're just giving raw alert. You're going to end up like a rap shitty, and no one's going to want to hear that, right? So Mulala had to switch the style up. So she went out, got BBL, took the advantage of the fact that she was already light-skinned and pretty, and she made herself the trifecta. What's the black woman trifecta? Light-skinned and pretty with a fat ass. That's what Mulala went out and got. At that point, she had the aesthetic. See, people are always talking about the male gaze. And this is the number two. But women gaze just as hard as men do. If you look at pretty women, you'll see in their comments all the time, women saying, I'm no better than the men. I'm no better than the men. And they mean it. Because they're looking at women from a sexual manner too. They like to look up to women and wish they had body parts. Like, I've dealt with girls before where women said, I wish I had your body. I wish I had them titties. I wish I had that ass. So women put their own gaze on the women too. You understand what I'm saying to you? So Lalo had to get a certain aesthetic. Because Lalo now has that aesthetic, she has millions of followers, but these are not real supporters. These are just women who are following her because she's pretty. Light-skinned, pretty, with a fat ass. These are men who are following her because she's light-skinned, pretty, with a fat ass. Now, if she makes a song they can shake their behinds to, like something they can listen to in the club, or something they can turn up to, they'll listen to that. But as far as an actual album, actual songs, where she's actually rapping, women don't want to hear that. That's why none of the women sell. Megan Thee Stallion can't sell no web records. Lotto can't sell no records. Ice Spice can't sell no records. But really can't sell no records. These women be expected to go platinum and they go triple penny because women don't really want to hear that. Rapping bar for bar is a masculine thing. Unless you can switch it up like Lauren Hill and go in between rapping and singing and put some substance. Women want to hear R&B. This is what I tell dudes all the time. Y'all talk about some these modern women are so masculine. These modern women are so masculine. But they're not that masculine. Women want to hear R&B. Rhythm and blues. You know, or some pop music, or some neo soul, or something like that. That's what they're gonna choose to listen to over rap, unless they can dance to said rap song. You can't put out a whole rap song full of nothing but twerk songs. So what happens is, the twerk songs become singles, or the turn up songs become singles, and everyone ignores the rest of the album. Cause she doesn't have any real true supporters. She doesn't. This is why their albums don't sell. Nobody's listening to them. So Mulatto got mad, is mad, because she's like, damn, you know, there's a return on investment. ROI, guys, companies give you money up front. Like I was just saying, a lot of us giving money up front to buy the designer bags, to get the BBL, to build her aesthetic, and they want a return on investment. This is why you see so many women start to monetize their body. And a lot of does the same thing. You see Meg Thee Stallion, she's almost always naked and twerking. You see Ice Spice, she's almost always naked and twerking. You see Mulatto, she's almost always naked and twerking. Because they're like, if we can't monetize your music, then we're going to monetize your body. But again, unless you're Nicki Minaj or Cardi B, you can't sell records. That's just the reality. Nicki Minaj, and we don't even know about Cardi B because she only put out one album, but Nicki Minaj actually has real friends who support her actual music. And she can actually spit. Alright? So Nicki Minaj, she has an aesthetic too, but her fan base isn't built solely on her aesthetic. She actually got bars. She can rap with men. She gets features and she kills her features. Right? So I'm saying that to say, Mulatto is pissed because Mulatto really raps. Like I said, on a rap game, she could really rap. But the problem is her fan base is full of women who just want to shake their behind and like her aesthetic. They don't even like rap. So for her to get an ROI for her investors, for them to be able to make their money back, she has to basically go and be a hoe. And she's resentful of that. Hence why she's calling y'all brokies because essentially she's like, y'all don't really support me. Y'all don't really got no money. Y'all some brokies. She's talking about you. And you guys go further to show why you're brokies by then making fun of yourself by showing a video at your low income job, trying to go viral, risking getting fired for $10,000. What are you going to do with $10,000 in this economy with this inflation? Nothing. But again, when you have no guidance and no leadership and all you care about is clout and attention, then you're, you're risking all of being in a music video for a trash song. This music video is not even going to be viewed very long at all because the song is trash. Nobody likes this song. It's not a good song. As soon as this song got to go to TikTok, it's not a good song. Nine out of ten times. Because if it was, it wouldn't have to go to TikTok. People will listen to it based upon its own lyrics, not based upon the trend. This is a trash song. Right? But y'all are going to go get yourself fired in real life to try to make this woman who just made fun of you feel better about the fact that her fans are there to see her shake her ass and not listen to her music. And you don't have anyone there like me or some other man to guide you to say, yo, this is stupid, do not do this. 
And this is what happens. And this is why I tell you guys not to date women who do not have fathers in their life or who do not have male guidance because this is what happens 9 out of 10 times. Now I know someone's going to comment in this video and someone timestamp this for me. Because someone's going to comment in this video and say, well, I know some women who have fathers and, you know, they're still following this trend. Just like some woman's going to comment and say, well, I know some women who have six-figure jobs and they still did this trend. Those are anomalies. Nine out of ten times, a woman with her father in her life wouldn't make a video like this because she would realize why it was stupid. Nine out of ten times, a woman with a six-figure career-based job is not going to make a video like this and risk it because it's stupid. And to get to the point where they even had a six-figure career job, they're already smart enough to not do stuff like this. Like, guys, I ain't no doctors, I ain't no lawyers, I ain't no CDOs and stuff in real life. A lot of them won't even post on Instagram them drinking or at a club without putting it in their close friends so that that no one can see it and it doesn't affect their drive prospects. So what are you talking about? You guys understand what I'm saying to you? <laughs> but there's going to be some woman who tried to pretend because she wants to make herself not feel bad for being an idiot as well and she's going to try to make it seem like what I'm saying is BS. But it's not. It's not. And this is why I say women need guns. This is also why I say women in the rap industry, like nobody really likes their music. It's all fake. So Mulatto's pissed because she got to be a hoe. And these women are clout, attention, seek, seeking attention, attention star. And so they're crashing out to try to get the music video for $10,000. As if $10,000 is life-changing money. I don't even understand if it was a hundred k She's talking about $10,000. What are you going to do with $10,000 after taxes? I don't understand it. But again, this is what happens when you have no guidance. All right? Lava didn't have good guidance either. Because if, her, if I was her father, I would be like, yo, don't get, go get that BBL. Do not go get that BBL. Just keep rapping. If you cannot get followers based off of just rapping, then don't do it. Because once you get that BBL, now you're a sex symbol, not a rapper. So bitch, essentially you're a prostitute. But I digress, man. Either way, y'all, that's my thoughts on the Brokey Challenge. I am Alex, and I am out, y'all. Peace.